Much love, many blessings. Happy Sunday, Day of the Crown. We talk about Venus and Pisces. Venus and Pisces. I think that is a really big deal right now. In the Pisces season, so we have Pisces Sun with Venus Pisces. That's just emotions, vastness, and opening up. With Venus and Pisces, because Venus focuses on relationships, values, especially long-term values, and how we approach things, and with that shift going into Pisces, a very open planet and a very spreading its wings and energy around and flowing, going with the flow, the collective is opening up its perspective on how it views relationships, its connections, and what it gets for itself. Now, Pisces also rules the hands and feet, but because it's also very unique in its symbology, Pisces is water and it's amelable or it's mutable, um, it keeps, it's ever changing. So this is actually an amazing quality because the lack of solidarity allows for one to keep moving and Pisces are really good at adapting. So during this time, things that are already established look really good. Pisces does best when it's not necessarily creating something new. It does create new ideas from a spiritual or energetic or metaphysical standpoint, Pisces creates all day. But from a physical standpoint, Pisces tends to influence or manipulate depending on polarity. Um, it does best when there's something already established that it can already work or pilot almost like a, a Gundam. Pisces energy by nature does best when there's already something established in solidarity to work with or to influence. So with Venus and Pisces during this time, what things will look the most attractive? Relationships, crushes, and people that you've been looking at that you've already had an eye on. Already established things, seeing um, traditional relationships, marriage or otherwise, seeing connectedness or wholeness is the point because the labels uh, aren't really so important. But the idea is when people look at something that looks whole, whether it's uh, traditional divine masculine and feminine relationships or just dynamics where people have what it is that they need. Those are the things that people want to be a part of, especially if they don't have it. And it's not just about not having, it's more so about not wanting to start from the beginning. So a lot of, there'll be a lot of notice for things that already look like the complete package. People want to show up with things that are blowing up, or let's say people are starting to trend or go viral, or somebody's starting to get a lot of recognition. They, these are the connections that are getting a lot of attention, and these are the ones that will be getting the most influence during this time, especially in this Venus and Pisces season. Uh, those are the connections that the collective wants to be the most part of. So when Venus is in Pisces, you don't necessarily see as much beginning of new relationships more so than getting into relationships or piggybacking off of relationships that have already started. But, but by definition, that actually is kind of a new beginning, so that's something new. But I feel like a lot of the newness in Pisces and Venus with connections and values and things that we are attracting ourselves to is a lot to do with like baton handoff kind of energy where it's kind of